Hi guys, as we know, on Tuesday, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak sung the praises of the fact that Northern Ireland is part of both the UK internal market, but also the European single market. Sunak was clearly ecstatic when he promoted this as a prize and spoke of how businesses around the world would invest in Northern Ireland because of this. Well, sadly, Keir Starmer didn't raise this fact in Parliament during PMQs, but somebody else did. Stephen Flynn, the SNP leader of the House of Commons. However, and Stephen didn't embarrass just Rishi Sunak, but made sure to roast the Labour Party too. Have a listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, yesterday the, yesterday the Prime Minister said that EU single market access was special, exciting and attractive. Uh-huh. If that's the case, why is he denying it to the rest of us? Yeah. Prime Minister. Well, Mr. Mr. Speaker, it's, Mr. Speaker, it's disappointing that the Honourable, it's disappointing the Honourable Gentleman is seeking to play politics with the situation in Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, as he well knows, has a unique place in the United Kingdom and what we are trying to do is restore the balance inherent in the Belfast Good Friday Agreement and he would do well to acknowledge that. A pretty pathetic response there. Either single market access is good or it's not. And of course, Northern Ireland is attracting businesses. And Rishi Sunak said that himself on Tuesday. Businesses are coming to Northern Ireland because of the fact, and he said it himself, the fact that Northern Ireland has access to the internal market, the UK internal market, and it has, and it's member of the, or it's part of the single market when it comes to goods. He said that himself. That's the prize. So why isn't it good enough for the rest of the UK? Of course, he dodged the question. This is an internal issue within Northern Ireland. No, it's not. Why why should the rest of the UK not have access to the single market? He he didn't answer the question, of course. Stephen Flynn! Mr Speaker, let's be clear. What the Prime Minister said yesterday was that EU single market access will be a good thing for business. Now, of course, that's in contrast to the leader of the Labour Party, who said in December the EU single market access would not boost economic growth. Does it hurt the Prime Minister to know that the Labour Party believe in Brexit more than he does? (laughs) Ouch! That's not good for Rishi Sunak, and it's not good for the Labour Party either. Uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Mr. Speaker, with regard to Northern Ireland, The important thing to note is to avoid a land border on the island of Ireland between North and South. That is what is crucial to achieve in getting the right framework for the arrangements in Northern Ireland and the businesses there that trade across that border on a daily basis with complex supply chains need and value that access. That is something that the Windsor framework has sought to achieve and I believe delivers it. It's not, it's not about the macro issue of membership of the European Union, it's about getting the right mechanisms in place to support businesses and communities in Northern Ireland. And I would say to the Honourable Gentleman, he knows better than that. He knows that this is about Northern Ireland, and I hope that he can support what we've agreed. Virginia. What the hell? The, the macro issue of the single market? The macro issue? The reason the protocol exists is because the UK used to be a member of the single market, and then Great Britain left the single market. And Northern Ireland needed a border. And where did the border go? Well, it could have went on the island of Ireland or it could have went in the Irish Sea. And in order to protect the single market and the Good Friday Agreement, it went in the Irish Sea. This idea that the the single market access is some sort of peripheral issue or some sort of macro issue is completely dishonest. But then we have, that's what we come to expect from Brexiteers like Rishi Sunak. It's a disappointing, it's really disappointing that the Labour Party didn't raise this issue. But maybe Keir Starmer doesn't want to talk about Brexit because it might damage his chances. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.